Welcome back to the P2 Aero Rans S21 build. We ended the last video with a rough fit up of the aft baggage station 4 closeout panel. I wanted to see what the roof line would look like with the forward upper skins in place before continuing to trim any more on that piece. So that's what we're going to do here. The upper tail cone skins are still only mocked up in place with Clecos. I'm holding off on putting any final fasteners in place just for now since I haven't fully decided on the exact avionics setup that I really want to go with. Plus it just doesn't really gain me anything to secure those fully yet. There's also a modification required to the elevator, control tube guide, and one of the station bulkheads that Rand's just sent out and I need to do that before I lose access to that area. I referred back to Eddie Gill's videos on the fit up of these skins several times during the process and they were a great help. So if you haven't seen those, I highly encourage you to start there. With that said, having completed this step, there's a few things that I'd do differently if I had to go do it over again. I'll outline those later here in this video. I feel like it's worth mentioning again that I suppose it's probably a better idea to be on a work table or other flat surface rather than sawhorses during this step. Like the last video, I was sure to leave Clecos in place between the middle longerons and the cage gusset taps. With the forward skins located at station 4, I used a clamp to pull down and forward just like Eddie describes in his video. It's not like you're clamping down a ton, just pull it snug. I've removed the baggage area panels on the inside again to allow Clecos from the inside of the cage through the gussets in the middle longerons, and I also have one up top in the window support angle as well. Then starting at the rear, I worked my way up and forward, transfer drilling with a number 40 bit into the angle support. I already knew at this point that I wasn't exactly center on that angle, and while not ideal, the edge distance was sufficient and I pressed on. Again, I'll touch on this later in the video, but I then moved on to picking up the holes along the middle longeron and the cage tab locations from the inside, followed by stepping up the number 40 holes to number 30 bit on the angle support. Eddie outlines using some Lexan to locate these upper holes, but I didn't have any of that just laying around, which caused me to improvise some here. I pulled the skin tight around the radius like he describes and clamped it in place. I then was able to drill up through the bulkhead and the tail cone skins into the upper skins. Other than being a bit awkward, this worked pretty well. I followed that up with picking up the cage tabs on the roof and moved on to the other side. Not having access for a clamp, I used some ratchet straps to pull the radius tight and just repeated those steps. I do have a few areas that need some trimming, so I made sure to mark those. It's now time to deep dive how I would do this differently if I was to start over on it. Keep in mind, in my case, there isn't any rivets in the upper tail cone skin, so I can take those back off if need be. This procedure would only work if that's your case as well. After fabricating the angle window supports, I wouldn't locate them until I mocked up the forward skins as well as put the windows in place. 
with the freedom to move that piece forward and aft along with adjusting the angle up and down, you could nail that center line perfectly. You could also ensure that there's no interference with the window frame and the skin radius up near the top. This does mean you'd have to remove the tail cone top skins again to fasten the aft end of that window support, but I personally feel like this would be well worth the extra effort. Now on with the skin fit up. With these windows in place, I marked the area on each side for the skin stiffeners and doubler pieces. I also marked the roof and moved on to fabricating and fitting the roof stiffeners. With all three of those stringers in place, I marked the location for the additional two sections and removed the skins. Once on the table, I fit up the two optional stringer sections and fabricated the skin stiffener doubler pieces. Not much to this part, so I suppose I'll spare you all having to listen to my commentary and let you just watch it happen. Thank you. 
pretty cool to see it coming together like this. I'll be working on finishing the aft baggage area along with fitting up the side and belly skins of the fuselage cage in the next video. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. I hope you'll consider subscribing to stay up to date on how this thing's coming together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.